All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. How are you? I'm doing all right. We will have to end a little bit early today, but that's okay. Let's get these chemicals going. I'm actually not entirely sure as to where to go. It's down. Wait, where'd the marker go? Okay, blow us. So, through here maybe? Nope. Clerks. Can I talk to you? Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. It's okay. I'm a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. <laughs> like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this point. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you. And I don't have any new clearances on the list. Damn it! Okay. We'll see what we can do. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out of the city. Is this an HR? Downstairs is still in the cabin. Get in here. Get in. Scientist? The one who's been pounding? You employee complaint. Wait, this said this was HR, so can't I make myself a new badge? I guess not. Wow, Ellie, thank you for that. How'd you two get outside? Maybe if I go upstairs. Am I allowed up here? Will you kill me if I'm up here? Bathroom. Oh god. No, that's not what I'm there we go. Okay, so let's see what we can get up to up here. Maybe we can find hey, a way through. Get transferred or something? That's right, you weren't here when it happened. Some UDL officers took him into custody. Okay, so really nothing I can do but sneak in. Oh boy, oh no. Dude, go away! You ass! Really? He turned the exact second. Okay, thank God. Hey, hey, close the door back, will you? So, I actually have zero clue where I'm going. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hmm? Oh no, 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 fuck you, fuck. Look out! Both of you in. This one's mine. Hey, yeah, the board doesn't like me. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Doesn't seem to be any guards down here. Never mind. Oh, God, they're attacking. Oh my god, blew him to pieces! What? 
That was the wrong button. So where am I supposed to... There we go. Nope, don't reload, you bastard. Open the door. Yeah, I'm bad at stealth. Honk, honk, nothing. The goose needs to go. Wait, where's there a ladder at? Is there not a ladder? There's the stairs. I didn't say I hated stealth, I'm just terrible at it sometimes. It depends on the game, really. And this is not a stealth game. Alright, so... Hiring the procedure may result in the invalidation of experiments and the death of human subjects. Let's see. I mean, we can always come back and get more of it, right? Yeah, it can go fuck itself. Wait a minute. Nope, there was a there was an exit somewhere near here. Right? Yes. Zantium. I mean, it, it's going good, except for that absolute fuck up of a stealth mission you just seen. Saw me pull. All right, back to Phineas. I hope we have enough of this chemical for him to do his experiments. Don't you think we ought to go in? Riddle, mock, apple, a hard cider for a hard cider. I tell you what. I mean, the, the mission wasn't that long, so it doesn't really matter. It just, you saw me fuck up. You saw right when I fucked up. Alright, let's get out of here. Silence brand. Wait a minute, what? Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a broader ship. Why is the elevator closed? Everyone knows marauders can't fly. There we go. No, I feel you. Photoshop can be distracting. All right, let's get out of here. I 
I have acquired book from what? I believe your choice to spare Chartrand. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. Okay. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. You mean stumbling around the colony and pretending to know what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. Really? I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. Today the region is profitable for the first time in years. Its workers are productive. They might even be happy. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. I get it, you're well informed. You sound like you approve. Well, she already said she does. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. What do you want? Uh, people need better security. I'm not here to talk about stolen chemicals. I'm after something far more valuable. Your cooperation. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I know. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. So you want me to sell him out? Never liked the guy anyway. Not for free. Uh, the answer is no. We're done here, Ada. Hold on, getting a uh, getting a noise signal. Could you fuck off and never call back? <laughs> Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells's terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Uh, not really. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Yeah, he is. Team go oh wait, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna sell him out. They haven't shown me any proof that he's that crazy. Also, m most of his crimes indicate vandalism. Who the fuck cares? Spray painting the board sucks on the side of a building means nothing. So, do I just put the chemicals anywhere? I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. You know, the chemicals for a second. The colony's on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes. Well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working labs can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. It's getting worse. The chairman's plan planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Oh, it's got a plan to save us. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined...
imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Yeah, it kind of is. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Well, I did get the chemicals. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Uh, these are all the chemicals I could get any more and it would have killed the subjects. Damn, that's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all, toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Uh, we need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. That's it, we just give up! Uh, all that trouble went through was for nothing. This colony's a mess. I'll be glad to be putting it behind me any time. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the Hope to the Unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even <laughs> to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Reasonable is definition of sanity. Holy You'll shit. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Sounds good. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Uh, the adjutant asked me to plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. Huh? Sarcasm, the last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. Okay. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. Uh, 
I get it, you want to prepare. You're sure you're okay with it? The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Okay. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Certainly. How can I help? Uh, should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Uh, just so we're clear, uh, you know, skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. Mostly? That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You sure? Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. All right. Oh, 28. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Phineas. <laughs> He's so, so what the fuck is he gonna do? Is he just gonna kill them all and stay in the lab, or is he gonna move, pick up the lab and move somewhere else? ourselves don't go medical or then perks what is this? Increases armor rating, skill bonuses, okay. Oh, nice. Alright, so, let's actually... There we go. I want to save. Just in case. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has... You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Byzantium's a big place. Way to have questions. Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant okay. Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Uh, no. I will see you, Ada. Alright, let's go... Let's go talk to her. Where... There we go. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Alright. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. It was Phineas's suggestion, but thank you. Right, what mission is that? Is that a, uh...
But I, I wonder what she wants from me. Because we're... Me and Phineas are going to go ahead and just, uh... Actually continue the work we've been doing, but... She's being all friendly and strange, and... I think that's the same voice actor from uh, Jedi Fallen Order, maybe? I don't know. Gentlemen? Not so fast. What do you want? Esperanza, or Esparza, or how the fuck you say your name? All right, name? you're clear. Thank you. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. You should. It's a good game. At least one of the better Star Wars games we've had in a while. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more, and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. Explain. We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. I'll answer however I can. The Lifetime Employment Program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful. And most importantly, it will work. Will it, though? I don't think so. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. Help me execute the Lifetime Employment Program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. Yeah, but Byzantium doesn't do anything. It's a commerce city. It doesn't make food or anything. When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked. Even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. Uh, that's a pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. I admit, 
I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. What does this have to do with me? No more questions. Tell me why you wanted to see me. When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. And you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. So a coup? We need to talk about Emerald Vale. I will be frank. Edgewater was a lost cause. I never expected the settlement to survive another year. But then, you came along. I don't know how you managed to convince a faction of disloyal workers to return to their posts. In fact, Edgewater is more productive than ever before. Every worker in Edgewater will be expedited into our lifetime employment program. Well done, Captain. That town owes you an enormous debt. Just doing what had to be done, expedited into the program. What does that mean? Edgewater's workers have proven themselves valuable. When the time comes to place our most loyal workers in suspended animation, they're going to be the first in line. You should be proud of yourself, Captain. You're on the verge of making history. There's just one last job I need you to do for me. I've made arrangements for you to journey to the Hope. You will board your former colony ship, reactivate its navigation systems, and skip the colony ship into orbit around Tartarus. Once the Hope is in position, we will have everything we need to begin healing the colony. You've proven yourself more than capable. I don't know if there's anyone better suited to this mission than you. Give yourself some credit, Captain. You've come this far without dying in some senseless accident. <laughs> Clearly, the Architect has a plan for you. How do you expect me to do it? The Hope has been out of commission for years. You'll need to connect your own ship to the Hope's auxiliary power supply. Okay, so she had the same plan. Then make your way to the Hope's bridge. Your ship's computer will activate the Hope's skip drive and bring you into orbit around Tartarus. I have the highest faith in your abilities, Captain. You and I are going to save Halcyon together. So, sneak onto a lost colony ship and skip it across the system? What could go wrong? Oh, the usual amount of uh, death, destruction, and <laughs> utter annihilation. Well, I think into the uh, the belt of Terra Two works all the same, but at least we know what she wants. and we might actually have an easier time getting on the Hope. This is where all lo roads lead. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Alright, what's going, uh, going to happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too, Or the Sun. Oh fuck, okay. Uh... The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, 
but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. Okay. Well, let's do this one more time. Good luck, Captain. Thanks, Anna. Wait, that, there's no way to cross, so right here. Comms, auxiliary power. Okay, these must be the people Phineas killed. guys aren't gonna no you're not you're friendly good I'm glad I talked to her then hello Quincy welcome aboard captain Ms. a Conde message ahead I wish this place were in better condition for you but we're in a bit of a bind seems the damn auto mechanicals think we're intruders uh why do they think you're intruders do I look like an engineer all I know is, they're shooting anyone who ain't Hope Crew. We shut off the main power, so they're disabled for now. If you go hooking your ship up, I suspect they'll recharge. Oh, I already did, shit. And that means trigger happy auto mechanicals. I'm not going to get in your way, but I'm also not going to send more of my staff to their deaths. Uh, any of the old crew still around? Maybe I can grab an ID? We tried that. Didn't work. Something about her face is not matching up. We stored what cards we could find in the badge station to my right, but it's locked off. Can't just hand over whole property. Sorry. Uh, I'm doing... I'm doing lunch with Chairman Rockwell after this. Uh, haven't you heard? Uh, I was one of the passengers on the Hope. I'd heard rumors, but I never thought. So you're, what, 70-something years old? Over. Whew. All right. I'll have someone open the door for you. Good luck. And that's how you play it. Especially when you're not lying. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's close that door. I can take a hint. What was that? Is that an axe? Yeah, it's an axe. Oh, wait, what the hell? So where are the where are the badges he was talking about? So where are we going? Here. Continue. Is it really stealing if the entire ship is abandoned?
processor secure. Wait, 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 Error. wait. Hook crew data not found. Identify yourself. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Error. Paradox prevention has temporarily <laughs> disabled this unit's auditory processing. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. No dissidents found. A busy worker is a happy worker. Bridge key card. Alright. We're out through the other line. Captain, I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Okay, that was me. You all right, Captain? I mean, see you in this place again. I mean, I'm fine. I didn't really spend much time awake in here. Uh, let's level up a little bit first. Okay, so where am I going? Just ahead? Oh, Jesus Christ! Even come in here for? Do, I didn't need, all right? even need to come in here, did I? Can we talk? Wait, who said that and why? Was that you? So we're really gonna do this? I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Uh. I'm not sure, but he's our best chance. Not really. There's a sobering thought. Makes me want to drink. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story, you know, if we survive. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Uh, well, what about you? You're still with me. People's the hells, y'all deserve a, cha a chance. Just my kind of crazy. What else am I gonna do? For better or worse, my future uh, is tied to Halcyon. I'll do anything for a good story, and nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. <laughs> but I asked you first. All right, all right. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies, but I think you really mean it. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they gonna pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just gonna leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? Who knows? We'll see. Uh, if they're half as capable as me, then we're in good hands. This is why I like you, Captain. Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. All right. Anything else? Nope. Where's... Where are we headed? Okay, she just wanted to talk. Wait, what the? Yeah. What's huh? the perception option? 
That's on account of how I never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. That's inhumane. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Okay. Alright, so where am I headed? Up? Does this go up? I don't like that. Everybody That's in. the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Hope's so much like Groundbreaker. I knew they were sisters, but it's eerie. Like walking in another universe where we all died. Look at this. It's terrifyingly gorgeous. Alright, comms, status, check status. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Alright, let's uh, discuss my options. Certainly. You may skip the Hope to Tartarus, as you were instructed to by the adjutant. Doing so would bring the Hope within close proximity of Phineas Wells' orbital lab, allowing him to access the colonists frozen within. Your act would be immediately noticed across Terra 2, as the colony ship Hope abruptly enters into the planet's rings. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. That's, that's fine. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? <laughs> Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADM, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. <laughs> but that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. 
I love her just like matter of fact way of talking. Was that an attempt at humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. Where is Ellie? Pavati's right there, but she's just oh. They phased out of each other. Error. Hope crew data not found. Identify. Error. Paradox protection that protocol keeps working. prevented Holy me shit. from registering. Error. Paradox. pick this stuff up. I guess it just all classifies as mine now. I'm wasting like two of my chances, aren't I? <coughs> Can I not get through here? No. gonna be all right oh lord these these soldiers are probably gonna try to kill me aren't they maybe not oh yeah because they don't technically even know where we are right now they just know something happened they can't see out of it oh wait they can but they can't see much Let's go Captain, check I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. What's going on? Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine! Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine! You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? Yep. How can I be of assistance? Doc is there. Goodbye. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. All right. I forget. Is there a? I can't. I, there's no. Um, there's no vending machine on board the ship, right? All right well, I, I guess I have to uh, buy ammo later. Oh, they av added stuff. I think. To the little diagram, it's it's funny. That, let, like, don't get me wrong. All right, let's check on him. <coughs> well, he's gone. Go. 
Come on. Nobody else behind me. Well, come on, die already. How do we get in there? Oh. Jesus. He did quite a bit of work. Although I would have tried to avoid them getting in here in the first place. Must delete entries. All right, something to open back here. <clears throat> probably where they took him. Confront Sophia. His ship's still there. Wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. I get more perks. We'll keep it at that. Okay. <clears throat> and what do we want to do? Wow, engineering is just way up there. Holy shit. Let's go confront her. 
Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Okay. Phineas, locked up in Tartarus? We cannot let this stand. That place terrifies even the most hardened criminal. I'm not one for pointless heroism, but the board's gonna be after us next. We gonna finish what we started? To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Okay, um, we can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we've any hope of saving the colony. What is the uh, labyrinth? Great, it figures I'd uh, be the one to save the day. Captain, come on. Even I've heard of the biggest prison the colony's ever seen. And on some occasions, I literally live under rocks. <laughs> Still, we can't do nothing. It wouldn't be right. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, Escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Understood. Uh, we're doing this, everyone strap in. What do you all think about this? It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> you didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane, but maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous, and I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits, but I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain, but there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our <laughs> units do best. Oh my god. The entire plan is a terrible idea, but I admire your bravado, Captain, which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. Okay. Um. We gotta stock up on ammo. Probably also gonna do Pearls of Gorgon first, then. So, we, we're we gonna prepare? Mm -hmm. Sure. Guess I could give my ass-kicking boots another coat of polish. You got some sort of plan in mind? Oh, uh, we'll play it smart. Talk our way through if we can. Have I ever had a plan? Uh, we go in, kill everyone between us and our goal. The fewer folks we got to hurt, the better. Maybe on our way out, we let all those poor souls locked up in there go free. Sure, boss. You do the talking. I'll pack a few more rounds of ammo. Start a prison riot. That sounds amazing if that's possible. But okay, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so very much. When we return tomorrow, we're probably going to do Perils of Gorgon. And that, because I, I looked it up and you can't play after you've finished the game. And this sounds like it's getting pretty close to that. So we'll do that and then we'll save Phineas. So I thank you so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.